here on The Morning Blend, we love tackling Hollywood and talking to actors, especially actors who are quite young and really their careers are just beginning. Maybe you know our next guest from the amazing World of Gumball or how about Dragon's Rescue Riders. Maybe you've even seen him on ABC's hit show, The Goldbergs, where we're excited to welcome him to this ABC show in The Morning Blend. Let's go ahead and say good morning to Jacob Hopkins. Jacob, how are you today? I'm doing amazing. How are you? I am well. So it is true. I love talking to young actors and actresses because I feel like sometimes when you've got the acting bug, it doesn't matter what age you have. And looking at your vast career of shows, which I did even mention True Blood in there, by the way, <laughs> looking at your vast career already, how, did you, how young did you start? When did you know this was something that you wanted to pursue? And obviously it's gone quite well. Oh man, well thank you. I was like, I, I was around like four or five when I first started. Uh, my dad was actually an actor before me. He played A.G. Quartermain on General Hospital in the 90s. And um, and one day I was just running errands with him. I was this little guy and we stopped by his agents. And you know, I'm just kind of like there, but they look over at me and they say, oh, you, this is your son. Is he interested in acting? Does, does he want to do that? And you know, me being like a four-year-old, absolutely nothing <laughs> about the industry. I immediately shoot out of my seat. I'm like, yeah, sure. What's acting? <laughs> and from there, um, my dad, my mom as well, uh, they taught me everything I know about acting. And uh, yeah, I've been doing it ever since. Was there any hesitation from your dad, given his career of like, okay, yes, do this, but, or we're only going to try it out or do it till you love it? Or was he like, no, go all the way? What was that uh, parental guidance like? I have to, I've actually never really asked him that. I've never really thought of that. Um, I, I would assume at the time, you know, there was probably a little bit of hesitance. Um, yeah. But uh you know, he already knew all the ins and outs of the industry, how it operated, how to navigate it, really. And um, so, so I feel like he felt safe in that regard, that he, um, like both my parents, you know, were, would be able to navigate me through that career, me just being a child. And they, and they did. And they did an amazing job. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Oh, I love, I love love for the parents. Hey, speaking of uh, something that I always think is interesting, when you're doing voice acting, and I know the slim amount of things that my co-host and I have done, it is very different being in front of the camera versus lending your voice. And it seems like that's going extremely well, too. Of course, you know, Cartoon Network right now playing uh, Gumball, I would say. What What is that like, being able to voice things versus being in the camera? Would, do you have a preference on the two? I wouldn't say I have a preference, really, because I started out doing uh, on-camera acting, and I actually didn't get into the voice acting part until I was around 11. So I'd already been doing, like, strictly theatrical for six years at that time, and or around six or seven. And so I already had, like, the acting chops under my belt, but I remember when I first started voice acting, ironically, my first gig and audition, you know, slash, was Gumball Watterson. So... I kind of looked out there, <laughs> but I, I, you know, I quickly realized that this is a completely different ballpark. Like there, there's no camera to pick up on your physicality or your body language or your facial expressions. All the emotion has to be portrayed solely through your voice. So I remember training for like two months, like two solid months uh for getting gumball now when i auditioned they knew that and then i got the call back the producers and casting they knew like okay this is going to be the kid but we gotta get them ready right um, so i remember doing all these vocal exercises to improve how clearly i speak um, yeah. how to speak clearly and fast without stumbling um how to portray all your emotions through your voice which requires a little bit of exaggeration on your part, but you can still kind of keep it grounded. Um, how to like create different voices, how to work on your tone, your range, all that different stuff. Um, so I guess you could say that I learned pretty much everything I know about voice acting from doing that one show for like four years of my life. 
Hey, real fast, I want to get in there, though. Um, talking about this series you are on, though, this Japanese series in the world of anime. You know, it's funny because we're talking a lot, you know, about the summer games and everything happening over there. And you have right. got experience in, in Taekwondo, I read, which is ironic. But then you're yeah. also part of this. What's this all about? So this is a show called Two Year Eternity. You can watch it on HBO Max and Crunchyroll. Um, it's a show about this godlike being who casts this orb down onto the earth and the orb uh, slowly gains consciousness and turns from a rock to a moss to a wolf to the boy that you see before you. Um, that's my voice. His name is Fushi. And throughout this series, you get to see how this immortal being, right, who, who can't die, who can't be injured, he has to navigate this entire world and find out what his purpose is even though he's going to be living forever. And you get to see him gaining humanity, learning what it means to be a part of a family and be in friendships and what it's like to fall in love. Uh, finding your purpose, I think, is really interesting and a good one to end on. You are going to school, you were saying, mechanical engineering. You also give back to several charities and community work is important to you. So I love hearing that. It's been a real treat to meet you today, Jacob. Thank you so much, Natalie. It was amazing to be here. Take care, okay? Keep up the good work.